ideas of Tesla for wireless power have only been um, briefly investigated by various scientists. In laboratories and classrooms around the world, scientists often demonstrate one of the most visually stunning intersections of physics and chemistry, the illumination of gases. This simple yet fascinating experiment reveals the hidden beauty of elements known as noble gases. Positioned on the far right side of the periodic table, these gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, and the recently discovered Oganesson. Each one possesses a distinct internal structure that makes it chemically stable, unreactive, and incredibly special when it comes to light. Their unique glow is not just a spectacle of color, but a direct expression of the atomic world at work. These gases are called noble because they rarely interact or bond with other elements. Their outermost electron shells are filled, meaning they have no reason to gain or lose electrons to form compounds. This full outer shell creates a kind of atomic contentment, making them some of the most non-reactive elements in existence. Despite that calm chemical behavior, they come alive when exposed to certain conditions, especially electric energy. Under the right setup, these invisible gases can radiate with bright, pure colors that seem almost magical. Yet the beauty is entirely scientific, governed by the precise dance of electrons and energy. To unlock these colors, scientists use a powerful device known as a Tesla coil. Named after the Serbian-American inventor Nikola Tesla, this device generates high-frequency alternating current electricity. When activated, it produces an intense electromagnetic field around its metal terminal. The field itself is invisible, but its effect on nearby gases is immediate and dramatic. When the coil is brought near a sealed tube containing a gas like neon or argon, the electromagnetic energy interacts with the electrons in the atoms of that gas. This interaction is what gives rise to the vivid glow that each element is famous for. The underlying process begins with ionization, the excitation of electrons. Inside each atom, electrons orbit the nucleus in defined energy levels, sometimes called orbitals. When the electromagnetic field from the Tesla coil passes through, it transfers energy to those electrons. The electrons absorb this energy and jump to higher orbitals, entering an excited state. But this is a temporary condition. Electrons cannot remain in a higher energy state for long because it is unstable. They soon fall back down to their original orbital, releasing the absorbed energy in the form of light particles known as photons. This is the fundamental reason gases glow when exposed to electromagnetic fields or electrical currents. The color of the emitted light depends entirely on the energy difference between the electron's excited and ground states. Every element has a unique electronic structure, meaning the energy gap is different for each one. Therefore, the color of light released is like a fingerprint for that element. Neon emits a bright red-orange glow that has become iconic in neon signs. Argon gives off a cool bluish light while krypton and xenon produce softer, whitish tones with hints of purple or blue. Helium, though less common in lighting, radiates with a gentle pink or peach hue when energized. Together, these gases create a palette of natural luminescence that no artist could replicate, each color defined by the immutable laws of quantum physics. The relationship between energy and color in this phenomenon can be described by the formula E equals sine HF, where E represents energy, H is Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of the emitted light. The higher the frequency, the greater the energy, and the shorter the wavelength. Thus, the exact color of light depends on how much energy the electrons release when they fall back into their normal orbits. For instance, neon's strong red-orange color corresponds to a lower energy transition than helium's pinkish tone, or xenon's faint blue. This predictable relationship between energy, frequency, and wavelength is one of the most fundamental connections in physics and forms the basis of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy, the study of how matter interacts with light, uses this property to identify elements even from great distances. By observing the colors of light that an element emits or absorbs, scientists can determine its composition. This is how astronomers discover what distant stars and planets are made of. 
the light reaching Earth from across the galaxy passes through a prism or diffraction grating, splitting into a spectrum of colours. Each dark or bright line in that spectrum corresponds to a specific element. The same physics behind a glowing tube of neon gas also allows humanity to read the chemical signature of the universe itself. Tesla coils, apart from producing these brilliant displays, also demonstrate the principles of electromagnetic induction and resonance. Inside the coil, alternating current rapidly builds up a high voltage, often reaching hundreds of thousands of volts. The coil's secondary winding is designed to create resonance, amplifying the voltage to the point that it ionizes the surrounding air. This is what causes the characteristic electrical arcs and sparks that leap from the coil's tip. When a glass tube containing a noble gas is brought near the coil, the emitted electromagnetic energy excites the gas inside without any physical connection. The result is a bright, colorful glow that seems to float in mid-air, driven purely by invisible forces. While this may look like magic, it is pure science. The glowing gases demonstrate the direct relationship between energy input and light emission. It also reveals how quantum mechanics governs behavior on the smallest scales. Every flicker of light corresponds to countless electrons jumping between orbitals, releasing photons of precise energy. The color, brightness, and stability of the glow all depend on the type of gas, its pressure, and the strength of the electromagnetic field applied. Even minor changes in these variables can produce noticeable differences in the light's intensity and hue. Each noble gas has its own story within the periodic table. Helium, the lightest of them, was first discovered not on Earth, but in the Sun. Its name comes from Helios, the Greek word for the Sun, because it was detected in solar spectra before being found on Earth. Neon, the next in line, was identified through the study of liquefied air and has since become synonymous with the glowing signs that decorate cities worldwide. Argon, whose name means lazy in Greek, represents its inert nature and abundance in the Earth's atmosphere. Krypton and xenon, though rare, have found their roles in specialized lighting, lasers, and photography. Radon, on the other hand, is radioactive and not suitable for lighting, though it completes the natural family of noble gases. Oganesson, the heaviest and newest addition, exists only in laboratories for fractions of a second and remains largely theoretical in terms of observable properties. When comparing these gases side by side, their different glows tell a complete story of atomic identity. Each wavelength of light released is proof of how structured and predictable nature can be. In a dark room, a series of glass tubes filled with these gases can turn into a brilliant display of color. Red for neon, blue for argon, lavender for xenon, and soft orange for helium. Beyond their beauty, they remind us that even the simplest looking materials are governed by intricate rules of energy and structure. The Tesla coil's role in demonstrating this phenomenon has become a classic in scientific education. It provides a safe way to visualize how electromagnetic energy can excite atoms without direct contact. The device is also a bridge between the world of physics and the imagination. Its inventor, Nikola Tesla, envisioned a future where energy could be transmitted wirelessly, and this small-scale demonstration captures a piece of that dream Though primarily a teaching tool today, the coil still represents human curiosity about how invisible forces shape the material world. This blend of light, energy, and matter encapsulates the essence of modern science. It shows that everything from the color of a star to the glow of a gas tube is determined by the movement of electrons and the exchange of energy. Even phenomena that appear simple, like a glowing glass cylinder, are windows into the deep mechanics of the universe. It's a reminder that understanding the fundamental behavior of atoms allows humanity to explain the wonders of nature in clear, measurable ways. Experiments like this have long inspired students and researchers alike. They demonstrate how the periodic table is not just a chart of symbols, but a living representation of how elements behave. By observing their colors, one can see the periodic trends come to life, from helium's gentle glow to xenon's mysterious shimmer. The noble gases, though chemically silent, speak vividly through light. 
Their illumination is both a visual delight and a scientific revelation, tying together centuries of research into a few glowing tubes. In essence, the illumination of gases through the Tesla coil is a small yet profound demonstration of how energy transforms matter. It connects atomic structure, electromagnetic theory, and quantum physics into a single colorful experience. Each flicker of light reveals a story of electrons, energy, and balance. The beauty lies not only in what the eye perceives, but in the unseen order that makes it possible. The colors of the noble gases are more than decoration. They are proof that even in the simplest forms of matter, there exists a universe of complexity waiting to shine.